Hi guys, I'm Marpreet. Today we learn how to integrate Bright Data with Parsub for proxies. Parsub is a powerful no-code web scraper. It can help you scrape millions of pages through links or keywords that Parsub will automatically search through. You must, however, secure your identity and overcome various types of anti-scraping and other sort of restrictions deployed by your target website. This is where Bright Data comes in. With its various proxy solutions, you can successfully complete your scraping and automation tasks without raising any suspicion. Bright Data proxies integrate with Parsup so you can perform your job seamlessly. Let me take you to my computer screen and show you how. Head over to Bright Data, log in into your account and go to the dashboard. Click on proxies and create a zone. You can choose between data center, residential and mobile IPs. To automate any social platform like LinkedIn, you will need exclusive residential IPs. Configure and create the zone according to your project requirements. Click on the settings icon next to the zone name. From here, you can get the access parameters like username and password. We'll use this information later with Parsub for the integration. Let me show you how. Head on to parsub.com. Click on the download button from the top menu. Download the appropriate version as per your OS. I'll download it for Mac. Install and open Parsub. Login into your Parsub account. Now we need the Realm information to set up custom proxies. Open a Firefox browser. From the top left menu, go to the settings. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Network Settings. Select Manual Proxy Configuration. Under HTTP Proxy, paste the Bright Data Proxy URL which is zproxy.lum-superproxy.io. In case you want to use Bright Data Proxy Manager, then the address will be 127.0.0.1 Port will be 2225 Click on OK Open a new tab in your Firefox browser and open any website. You should get a message that says the proxy zproxy.lumsuperproxy.io is requesting a username and password. The site says Luminati. Anything shown between the double quotation marks is your realm and should be copied. In this example, this is Luminati. Take note of your proxy and add an additional colon with your realm to the end of it. In summary, your custom proxy should be in the following format. IP address, colon, port, colon, username, colon, password, colon, realm. Username and password can be accessed from your Bright Data Zone settings. This is how it will finally look for your Bright Data proxies. zproxy.lum hyphen superproxy.io 2225 now that we have this information head over to Parsub. go to the project you would like to add your custom proxies to navigate to the settings menu click on the checkbox next to rotate ip addresses and the custom proxy text box will appear at the bottom of your screen paste your proxy along with the realm which you obtained earlier in this tutorial in the format outlined above. If you have a list of custom proxies to rotate, you can add each new proxy to the custom proxy field on a new line. Once you've set up the custom proxies on your account, you can save the project and run it. Please note that custom proxies will need to be enabled on your account. Please contact hello at parsub.com in order to do so. That'll be all for this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future content. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.